My name is Katie. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. Well, I wanted to do a, a seven chamber split cup. <laughs> I poured it, spun it, did all that. Thought, oh, it was great. And the camera wasn't on. <laughs> so, but that gave me an opportunity to look at how the colors came out. Because this thing has stumped me for years. So I'm going to go get the painting and I'm going to show it to you and then I'm, I'm going to switch up a couple colors and see what happens. Hold on. My drying rack's on the other side of the room. And that's what we got. It was pretty. I like the colors. But I think I would change up a couple of these. So I'm going to, I'm going to layer them slightly different. Go put this away. So I mixed up some more paint. The exact same colors. All right. Now, I started with white here. I like that. Pretty little white tips. That's my, that's my babies. Okay. The ultramarine blue. I'm sorry, I didn't tell you what I'm using here. The white is titanium white by Amsterdam. The ultramarine is basics. Liquitex basics. The red is a pyro red by Amsterdam. And why am I putting them over there? Okay. The yellow is liquid text cadmium yellow light. This is light blue violet by liquid text. This is permanent red violet by Amsterdam. And this is blue violet by Amsterdam. All right. All my paints are mixed two parts Floetrol to one part paint. And I'm going to, I'm for sure going to put the white there. All right, we can get rid of that. Where are my fingers? The ultramarine blue right here. I thought that was really pretty next to the white. A lot of times you'll fill a cup like this and you'll pour it and you'll say, ah, I wish I had done that or that, this or that. And by the time you get around to your cup again, you don't remember what you did. I don't take notes, so. And I can't remember if it worked for me or if it didn't work for me. So, every pour is an experiment. Oh, I love this pyro red next to that ultramarine blue. It's pretty. Okay. Now, I'm going to go with the yellow in the middle again. What happens is I turn the sound off on my camera so I don't get disturbed. And uh, <laughs> I can't hear if the shutter comes on or not. So it doesn't give you an option to just shut down the shutter sound. So, all right, now here's where we're, I think I want to switch the blue violet where the red violet was. And for some unknown reason, at least one color disappears. So, <laughs> All right, I don't want to put that in the same spot I put it last time. But I'm a little worried about the white. And the... I hear that, oh, if you put the ones on the outside are the dominant colors, but it never works out that way for me. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully that was an air bubble. 
Get another chunk. All right. All my paints are like uh, a little mound on a mound. If you leave a trace on top, it disappears in about two, two seconds. A little less than two seconds. All right, I'm gonna put the red violet where we had that light blue violet. All right. Always make sure your canvas is level. When you're using a spinner, put your canvas on your spinner check the level, turn it, check the level, and uh, put what you need to underneath your spinner. You don't really want to put it underneath your canvas because it'll get full of paint and it's a mess. Kind of like my spinner. All right, we're good to go. Let me put my gloves on. Everybody have a nice weekend, Labor Day. Last weekend, everybody wants to barbecue. We stayed home. All right. Wish me luck. I'm going to start here. Yes. Well, we're definitely seeing more yellow this time. you are the finer lines you get and the more and the closer to the canvas you get bigger patterns well this looks entirely different that's wild what did we change we changed just the blue violet Hmm, weird. It's pretty. The spinner makes it easy to get around the canvas. We probably have enough paint. That looks entirely different. Isn't that crazy? What did we do? We changed the red and blue violet and this. We just, that's weird. I think I see all the colors. All right, I have a flow extender here that's table scrapings. It's a weird orange color. That's going to go over the side, so nobody will see it. Thought maybe I was changing it up a little bit. <laughs> That's crazy. The yellow and red still ended up together, along with the ultramarine blue and white. It's the both of the red violet and the blue violet kind of disappeared. And once we spin it here open it up we might see the other color here's a little bit of red violet all right let's 
give it a spin and uh, spread it out a little bit. I'm going to give it a torch. But I hope my camera's still on. <laughs> Okay, I have a tarp down here, and I paint barefoot. Let's see if we're in the middle here. Yeah, we look good. All right. Hit me on the knee. <laughs> and perils of a poor. All right. Now, I'm not sure I like this, but we still have to get it off that corner. So let's take it off that corner first. And you remember when you were a kid on the merry-go-round, if you were closer to the outside, the forces were stronger. Same thing on your spinner. Wow, it sure is different than the last one. This looks like fire right here. Hmm. And I guess that's where the blue violet is. It almost looks black. Must be because it was with it's next to the yellow. I don't, I don't know. I know it's a dark color, but back to the middle. Always start with the weight of your paint in the middle of your canvas. Go to a corner, come back to the middle. Always come back to the middle. And you can go anywhere you want to go. All right. Hmm. I need to write this down and in my next video I'm going to use the same colors and we're going to layer them different and see what happens. All right, let's give it a spin. I want to get rid of this here. Make sure you come back for the next video. I'll have the one I did earlier, and I'll have this one. And then we're gonna change the colors, the, the, cham the chambers that they're in. Cause like I said, now if I just put my split cup away, I won't remember what I did. So this is a good opportunity to See how I layered them. I'll write down the first one that I did. The order. Yeah, and then I'll write down these. And we'll see what happens.
I've, like I said, I've been playing with this split cup for a few years. It just makes me crazy. I know my color choices are good, but um, putting them, it matters how you layer them in that cup, for sure. Should we go that way? And just go ahead and open it all up if we can. Let's see where our paint is. Ooh, we don't have a lot left. We have a little bit. That's an interesting pattern right there. Weird. Okay. Now it's closer to the canvas when I did that. That's why it's more chunky. When you're higher up, you get smaller detail. It's moving, but I don't know. I'll get the weight down there and spin it again. What do we have to lose? You're not the boss of me. <laughs> We're gonna have to spin it again. Leave all day. All right. Let's move that out. Let's see if we can get it to go that way. Well, we got a lot of it. Let's try it again. about it. Yeah, there's no paint left. All right, tune in tomorrow. The saga continues. <laughs> I'm going to do the same colors and I'm going to switch it up again. We're going to see what happens. I'm not putting it away this time. It's pretty. It's not what I was expecting. All right. Remember to scrape your bottom edges. Come back in about 15 minutes and do it again. Uh, check it out. We got a lot of paint off of this canvas, so. All right, I'm gonna take my gloves off and I'm gonna grab the camera and bring you down. And give it one more torch. All right. All right, it's gonna make a noise, excuse the noise. definitely pretty. It's just not what I had pictured in my head. I like this area right here. This, these fine lines. So I want to see more yeah, see the ultramarine and the red and the yellow. But then the white ended up over here. 
Okay. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm new to YouTube and I could use the support. Help a girl out. Yeah. Come back tomorrow. We're doing it again. <laughs> Bye.